Yo, 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 what's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Coyote Mar back at it with another video. But if you guys seen the last video, y'all pretty much know what's going on in today's video. If you haven't watched that video, be sure to go check out that video right now. I'll be leaving that at the top of the video, so be sure once again to go check that out. But if you guys did watch that last video and you're here right now, you basically know what we got going on today. We have the 5 0 out and we have the headers in the trunk right now so you basically know what type of time we on we on demon time right now like we're finna go crazy as you guys can see we have the drag set up on the car car is not too clean we're gonna go get a wash as soon as we go get these headers installed now if you guys are ever interested in getting some exhaust work on your car be sure to go check out rtb he's gonna get your car right man i'm promise y'all in for the right price be sure to go tell him mar sent you to get that additional five percent off of that original price and i believe you get an extra 15 percent off when you do book an appointment. So be sure to go hit him up and get all that information. Are wondering if you didn't feel like clicking that last video, we did go with the Texas Speed 1 and 7 8 long tube headers. Can't wait to see how the car is gonna react to these headers. Let me go ahead and pop the hood for you guys to show you guys what we have under the hood. All right, so now we have the hood open. And as you guys can see, pretty much stock, man. We got a stock intake, stock intake manifold. Everything under the hood is pretty much stock. Now the first thing, First performance mod we had was the E85. Now the E85 on a Gen 3 wakes the car up so much. Like it's so crazy. I would 100% recommend putting your car on E85 if you have some E85 stations available near you. Also, if you guys are wondering who I am tuned by, I am tuned by Lund Racing. One of the best tuners in my opinion for the Coyotes. They just know what the fuck they're doing with these Coyotes. Like they make the car wake up a lot. Like I have, I'm E85 only tire stock stock manifold stock intake as you guys seen earlier and the car is just moving great like it's, it's feeling great it's moving great haven't had any problems with the car yet but now it's basically time to get some more mods added to the car we got the long tube headers in the trunk let me, matter of fact let me go ahead and get those for you guys right now all right so don't mind this torn up ass box i don't know why every time i order headers order some headers from jba last time for my dodge charger once again if you haven't seen that video be sure to go check it out i had a camel wraps rt crazy man so <laughs> make sure y'all go check that out but let me go ahead and get these boxes out so if any of you guys are interested in a carbon fiber hood i would 100 percent recommend anderson composites man as you guys can see hood is pretty light as fuck the only problem i have with my carbon fiber hood is i need some hood pins as you guys can see i have no hood pins so at high speeds the, the hood tends to like flop up a little bit so with the hood pins what that would do is basically secure the hood and make sure nothing flies up while you're in Mexico or anything or a high speeds, whatever it is, basically secure the safety of the hood and of you, your car and everything else. All right, so before we head to the exhaust shop, I have something that I've been working on. I don't know if you guys noticed yet, but as you guys can see, we have the big merch going on now. I am planning on dropping this merch. I wanna get you guys opinion on how you guys think the merch look before I drop it. But um, I'm gonna give you guys a full review on the merch and everything as soon as we get to the exhaust shop and i have time to take it off and everything but as you guys can see we got the big coyote logo on the front and sheesh on the orange sleeves now i know a lot of y'all gonna be mad because y'all get tired of that sheesh but man that's the lingo around here so y'all gonna have to deal with it if you are watching the channel i wish we got a chance to dyno the car while we was on e85 only but now as you guys see we do have the headers going on i want to know what you guys what you guys think i will be pushing e85 headers and that's pretty much it that's all we have on the car right now have a lot more mods coming soon so be sure to stay tuned for the channel also if you guys haven't liked comment and subscribe to the channel yet be sure to go do that right now if i dine on the car i believe i can get around like high fours with the e85 headers i need an intake i heard the stock intakes were good by itself so i'm not too sure if i want to end up going for aftermarket intake or not also heard dropping a, a drop-in filter inside the stock air box is pretty good also so we pre we might try everything out we, we might put the drop-in filter in there and we also might still get the intake you feel me why not get all the content i can get fuck it if you guys want to see how the car reacts with those mods then just let me know in the comments what y'all think i should add to the 5.0 but you guys can see the 5.0 looking mean as fuck Shit. i love how it just look like it's ready to come eat your ass up <laughs> got lee Imagine seeing this view in your fucking mirror. You already know it's demon time when that happens. But it's pretty much time to head to RTB. So we're gonna go in the car, go get you some pulls, so you guys can see the difference between the headers and the current exhaust setup that I have now. But I'm gonna go ahead and get them clips for you. So stay tuned. All right, so my girl just got in the driver's seat. She's finna go ahead and give you guys a couple revs. Hopefully she does everything great. But hey, let's see how it sounds. the 
fucking sound great as fuck but <laughs> it caused a lot of commotion over here so let's go ahead and get the headers in the car and go ahead to rtb now all right so we are a little low on gas let's see how much miles we got we got 15 miles so you guys are wondering why i'm on low you guys are always wondering why i'm on low now the reason i am on low gas guys is because as you guys can see let me zoom in for you guys all right so what i'm basically trying to do is get all this 91 out as you guys can see i'm on 28 percent ethanol most gas station has a little ethanol in their gas so we're gonna run the rest of this ethanol out i'm probably trying to get to like two miles get do some pulls get all this drained out then go ahead and throw some, some e85 in there e85 makes a big big difference in the car like it makes a huge difference so i'm gonna try to get all this 91 out the car and get some of that in first pull of the day let's go ahead and see if we can get the miles per hour showing up Put that bitch in the sport can see this is a pull on 91 now if y'all take a look at the speedometer what's going on over here man out here tweaking out man stay off of drugs dude now if you guys are wondering how the e85 pulls i will be giving you guys a clip of me having some e85 in now it will be mixed with a little 91 but you guys will still see a big difference with that 91 in but let's go ahead we're almost to the e85 station and we're gonna catch you guys when we get there some e85 now as you guys can see it's a big price difference from the 85 the 85 is 249 while we got the 91 with credit or debit which i usually use 404 so that's fucking a big ass difference from the 85 like i was telling y'all earlier e85 and 91 big difference <laughs> Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. We just made it up here to RTB. Five O's looking good. Got my daily right there. Y'all see what's going on with that. But we just made it to RTB, like I said. Once again, man, if you haven't checked out RTB yet, be sure to go check them out. They have that Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. We'll be leaving all that in the description. Also, at the side of the videos. Just he's currently not here right now. Um it's right before 10 so he should be getting here in a minute as soon as he get here we're gonna be getting the whole process started and i hope you guys are enjoying this content but let's get to it baby make sure y'all go follow man i'm gonna zoom in for y'all just so y'all can make sure also i'm leaving the name at the bottom of this video but sheesh man it's going crazy for real all right so my guy matt from rtb just pulled up to this shop so as you guys can see we got the hellcat and we got the 5-0 which one y'all think will win in the race though you feel me 60 rows and no baby <laughs> all right so y'all see what's going on we got the car on the rack now it's a pretty long install usually take around six to eight hours from my knowledge so um i guess we're just gonna tune back in when we get back and see you guys then all right so we're gonna go give you guys the first start the headers is not fully connected but let's go ahead and see what it's sounding like Yeah. <laughs> 
all right guys so we just got the long tube headers installed now it's time to see what the first cold start is looking like so let's go ahead and just give it a little 